Today on the Gearhead Gardener, we're going to go ahead and look at my violet fig tree. We, this is part one. We just did a little pruning, so let's see if we can get these branches to root. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. All right, before I take this apart, I just want to show you how pliable these branches are. I've gone and taken a couple pieces of sticks and pulled them up pretty high. I'm definitely going to crop this down because I want this to be a low, shallow plant and I don't need anything this long. They've been sitting up here for like an hour. Not even that. This is probably 15 minutes. And they actually start to hold their curve pretty good just after that short period of time. I've been looking at my Bordeaux for a number of minutes here, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I want to keep it as a small, compact bush. As you can see, it's not going to grow as a tree as it's got no main leader. But I want to keep it as compact as possible. I like what i got going on here and here. So I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... Cut there. And a cut there. That'll get me two really nice branches that have some shape to it. As you can see, it's been cut a few times. Same thing here. I'll also cut this off here. And for the top, I think we will continue right there. All right, well, that's all I'm going to cut on this one for now. And these, I'm going to just cut the leaves off and set them up to root in the jar. And I'm going to be sure to add my cut paste on every one of the wounds. And since it's getting ready to go into dormancy, I'm just going to let it grow from here for the rest of the season, let it drop its leaves. And to cut the lids off, I'm using the famous Ginsu knife that sits here in the cutting block that nobody uses. Okay, so here are my soda bottles that I cut the tops off of that I showed you before. And I'm going to show you how I put holes in them. Okay, what I'm trying to do is put it in between those nipples to give it actually a little bit more strength. And I've just got this metal skewer that I just heat up and just put right in. I don't think I could really do this with one hand, but you get the idea. Okay, here's a better view. You can see there's all the holes I put in. And then once I've got this heated up, goes in like butter. And I feel like it's gonna give it a little bit of strength at the bottom there. Now that I've got six of these bottles trimmed and holes in them, I'm gonna just insert each one of them into these little nursery pots here. And it's going to be time to fill it full of its medium. And have a drink of tasty beverage. Holds in each one of them. They fit perfectly into these little landscaping pots. They're incidentally tree pots. They fit all the way down. So you see I've done that with all six of them. And then I've taken this smaller water bottle and you can see how that's just going to stand up upside down on top of that. And I think that's going to give us the humidity that we need. And I'll just strap them down and all six cuttings will go in there. As far as soil, I'm using 50% perlite, right? Just perlite and 
vermiculite. Okay, those, those can mix up. And I'll, that's all I'm gonna use. There's gonna be nothing organic in it. Okay, with my mixture of 50% perlite, 50% vermiculite mixed together, I take this handy dandy mason jar funnel and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up each one of these. Back outdoors, I'm going to give these a light mist. Actually, I'm going to soak these pretty good because I want them to get wet all the way through. This is going to work as a catch basin. It's going to be able to, I'm going to keep a little bit of water in there and keep it, keep it sitting in water through the whole process. And this is how it's going to work. Each one of these could be taken out so I can get in here and keep that maintained and cleaned individually. Each one of these will come out individually so I can keep an eye on the roots and keep it separate. Now let's get the cuttings out. These are the six cuttings I'm gonna go with. This one I can see still needs a couple of big leaves trimmed off, but when I cut them down yesterday, they, I put them soaking in water. And now I'm gonna go ahead and dip them in my rooting hormone and then let them sit for a little while and let that rooting hormone just really sink in. All right, the next thing I guess I should cut these big leaves off. All the cuttings have been dipped and soaked in water overnight. Now they are gonna sit here with rooting hormones overnight as well. Cuttings have been sitting out for about three hours or so, just drying out. And you can see I've made holes in the center of each one of these. And this is where I'm gonna insert each one of the cuttings. Careful not to rub any of the uh, rooting hormone off. So to do that, I'm gonna turn off the camera. And then I just slip the bottles over, fit them in, line them up as you can see with the zip tie. I'm going to hold these bottles into place so they don't go anywhere. Okay, and here we are with the finished product. There are two of them that are a little bit long. I wish they would have been shorter, but there's nothing I could do with it. I kind of like it helps give it more of a bend. Anyways, we're going to put these aside and we're going to take a look at these right at the beginning of spring and see what we have going on. So thanks for watching. This will be part one of these Bordeaux fig rootin' from cuttings. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Come along with me on this venture as I restore these old Volkswagens and play with my trees and create other plants. Thanks for watching, Garrett Gardner. Ciao.